Hello and thanks for joining me again for some more landscape photography at long last. Today I'm going to be heading up this hill here which is Munizmaur in northern Snowdonia. Now I'll be the first to admit it does look a little bit nondescript, however bear with me. You may have seen if you've followed my channel for any length of time images that I've taken of it from the other side which is from Snowdon looking back in this direction. The reason I've chosen to head up there this late September afternoon when it's quite blustery and cloudy is because it puts me in a sort of position that gives me some good line of sight to some much more interesting hills. Of course the thing with mountains is you can't really shoot the one you're standing on so I'm just using it as a vantage point. It's only about a couple of miles probably only an hour or so to get to the top so I'm going to head off it's mid-afternoon and I might well hang around for sunset. Well unfortunately mountain weather was a pack of lies this afternoon. I was about two thirds of the way up when a big squall blew in, I got quite wet uh, and now it's clagged up completely which is quite surprising. It's not a very high summit, it's only 698 meters but I can't see a thing. Fortunately I got one or two images on the way up. Now you may notice I carry my camera on my shoulder strap and that's a lesson from a couple of years ago. You get these flashes of light in the mountains and you've got to be able to take advantage so hopefully I've got a few to show you because there may well not be any more today it's starting to rain again what I'm going to do is have something to eat I've got a couple of hours till sunset so I'm going to wait it out but there may not be any more photography tonight Well now I have got really lucky. 
the weather cleared up about half an hour after I last spoke to you and I've been running around all over this summit grabbing handheld shots because the light has been absolutely spectacular. Rays slashing down through the clouds, lighting up uh, peaks down on the Clean Peninsula and across the way here on the Nantla Ridge and that's specifically what I was after today. That ridge has got such an interesting profile. You may recall I was actually on uh, the peak at the end, Agan, uh, a couple of videos ago in late summer. Now looking over towards Raran and Snowdon, Glidderai and Carnethai, it's completely grey and sombre and clagged up, no light at all and really nothing worth pointing the camera at unfortunately. But down this way, looking down the Irish Sea, I have had some beautiful light and grabbed a load of shots. Now unfortunately, today isn't really the sort of day where it's worth putting the camera on the tripod and talking you through a shot because by the time I'm set up and by the time you're set up, the light has gone and I need to point the camera somewhere else. So it's all handhelds. I've got my 12 to 100 millimeter lens on, which is perfect for this sort of photography because no need to even think about changing it, a really long telephoto range. Most of my shots probably between about 30 and 70 millimeters. I don't want to go too wide, but getting in tight enough to make the most of those splashes of light. But I'm going to hang around, there's still about half an hour to go till sunset. I'm going to wait and see what happens. I don't think there's going to be any more light on the ridge, but who knows what might happen over the Irish Sea. And one lesson for you, uh, despite the conditions I've been faced with, never ever clock out too early because you don't know what you might miss. Well now, while I'm waiting for the light, and that seems to be the lot of the landscape photographer, um, just a bit of housekeeping, a couple of things I wanted to mention to you while I've got a minute or two. Uh, firstly, if you follow my channel, you've probably noticed I haven't really done much over the last couple of months. Um, it's been a funny old summer, really. Once we got out of lockdown, the mountains have been absolutely swarming with visitors. Not a very pleasant place to be. Um, although, to be fair, where I am today, probably has been completely empty all summer but it's the sort of place where you have to come here at the right time to get the right light and in midsummer this would have been a bit of a waste of time for photography anyway all of that said hopefully I'm back now and you should be getting much more regular stuff uh, the other thing is that you may have noticed that I've stopped all the adverts on my channel I have mentioned this at some length on the Photography Pubcast, uh, but if you don't watch that, and frankly, who could blame you? Um, it's, uh, it's simply because I found watching other people's channels, when you get interrupted with an advert that you can't skip, and you were in the middle of a really nice photo gallery or something, drives me up the wall and I thought I don't want to do that to my viewers so I've binned off all the adverts so hopefully you're enjoying this and you don't have to worry that I'm going to get interrupted at any minute of course on the other hand you might prefer that uh, and finally social media now I've stopped my Instagram account I've cancelled it I'm not on Twitter anymore uh, I'm not on any Facebook groups except for one uh, and that's Mally Davis photography let's create uh, I really was finding I spread myself too thin, didn't have enough time, wasn't really enjoying it. So you'll only find me on Mally's group uh, and I've got my own Facebook page of course so you can follow me there if you want to and of course my own website but that's the only places where you'll be able to see my photography outside of these videos because obviously quite a bit of the photography I do isn't videoed. Anyway, the light's picking up again, so I'll get back to you.
I'm gonna have a real problem deciding which images to show you. I've shot probably 30 or 40 images today. At least a dozen of the rivals down on the Clean Peninsula because the light has been absolutely stunning. The problem is, which ones do I show you? Because I'm not gonna show you all of them, but it's gonna be a tough gig picking the best ones. Well, it looks like the show's over for tonight. The sun is now down. It's like someone threw a switch. No light, no color, um, just game over. Um, but do I care? <laughs> Not a jot. Um, today's been really interesting. It's been really authentic mountain weather. Uh, an incorrect forecast, really heavy, squally showers, no light, then lots of light. Absolutely brilliant. I love these sort of challenging conditions because they produce the best opportunities for landscape photography. It's all very well wandering up in a t-shirt uh, with lovely blue skies and it's nice and warm and all that sort of thing. Um, and I enjoy that, don't get me wrong. But for photography purposes, this is far, far better. Of course, you do rely on the clouds actually clearing the summit so you can see where you, you want to point your camera. But I've really, really enjoyed it. It's great to be back in the mountains. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and if you have enjoyed it, why not subscribe now and join me next time? Cheers.